construction aggregates can take up to 90 to 95 percent of the volume of asphalt mixtures and 70 to 80 percent of concrete mixtures. But the function of aggregate in the composite materials goes well beyond that of just filler and have a direct and significant impact on the stiffness, strength, workability, permeability, stability, and skid resistance in the design mix. To be effective, aggregates must have physical properties that stand up to both external and internal forces. Proper materials testing such as particle sizing and gradation, specific gravity and particle shape can accurately measure aggregate performance characteristics to predict their stiffness, strength and workability, to name a few. Particle size and gradation has more influence on the performance of hardened concrete, asphalt and base material than any other aggregate characteristic. It is no surprise that this is by far the most common and most important test to be performed on an aggregate sample. Following ASDM and ASHDO test specifications, once the proportion of the individual fractions are determined and then plotted as a gradation curve, the values can then be qualitatively classified in aggregate terms like gap graded, open graded, and uniformly graded. This information can be used to adjust proportions of the fractions to manipulate qualities of the final mix design. Specific gravity, or relative density, is the ratio of the mass of the aggregate to the mass of the volume of water equal to the volume of the aggregate particles, which can indicate the aggregate's durability and binder absorption rate. The two most common test methods to determine specific gravity are ASTM C127, the standard test method for relative density and absorption of coarse aggregate, and ASTM C128 of fine aggregate. Test values can then be calculated for three different types of specific gravity. Apparent specific gravity is a measurement of the volume of the aggregate particle not including the volume of water permeable voids. Bulk specific gravity is a measurement of the volume of aggregate particles as well as the volume of the water permeable voids. And bulk saturated surface dry specific gravity is the measurement of the overall volume of the aggregate particle as well as the volume of the water within the voids. Fine and coarse aggregate angularity tests measure the void content of an uncompacted specimen to provide an indirect indication of its angularity to determine workability, deformation, and fatigue cracking in asphalt mix designs. Flat and elongated particle testing measures dimensional ratios of individual coarse aggregate particles to predict the aggregate's propensity to fracture or reorient during compaction in asphalt paving mixtures. Gilson has everything you need for particle size and gradation determinations, specific gravity testing, and particle shape assessments. For any questions about aggregate testing or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.